Hey guys, the other day I heard Ray Dalio on the Lex Friedman podcast speaking about his new book. I'd already read his previous book, Principles, which is fascinating and intriguing. But when he started speaking about his new book, which is Principles for Dealing with the Changing World Order, Why Nations Succeed and Fall, pretty deep title just there. Uh, when I heard him sharing some of the essence of this book with Lex Friedman, of course, I had to buy it, which I've done, as you can see, and I just began reading it this morning, and I have to tell you and share with you that, oh my goodness, it's, it's sort of blowing my mind. I'm only um, uh, halfway through the introduction. I haven't even got into the nuts and bolts of it, but just what he's laying out, what he'll be sharing in the introduction is sort of yes, blow my mind and made me look a lot more deeper into these grand scales, these great scales, he calls them, of nations and, and the world, if you like. And uh, yeah, I'll be speaking a lot more about it in the future if it's of interest for you. But why I'm sharing this video is to say if it's something that's interested you and you've read Ray Dalio's previous book, Principles, and you're interested in his new one, uh, The Changing World Order, then let me know in the comments. But more importantly, if you'd like to discuss the ideas contained in this book and you don't have anyone around you who's interested in the changing cycles of nations, which is pretty deep stuff, it's not not everyone's interested in it. Some people go to sleep, some people glaze over, and some people have uh, different ideas to you. And so you can't really have a constructive conversation because they have an alternative worldview to your own. And so you're just constantly bashing your head together and you can't really have a constructive conversation. If you'd like to discuss the ideas that Ray Dalio talks about, or any ideas for that matter, that I share here at the channel, you can head over to my Patreon book club community. We're up to 10 uh, patrons now. And so thanks to all of you who support me there. And I'm going to be bringing much more value on that page uh, moving forward with my book club syllabus that I hope you're interested in. So if you're interested in speaking about big ideas and just ideas that are of interest to you, you can head over to my book club community the links in the description and become a patron, reach out and we can begin a, a dialogue to discuss whatever ideas are of interest to you that I may have shared on the channel before or just, um, yeah, something that's of interest to you. But I'm just going to go through briefly in this video and just share the table of contents of this book and let you know the truth and reality that Ray Dalio is bringing to us through this book. And yeah, I'm, I'm actually a little bit scared and frightened to progress further through the book because, yeah, I think it's going to uh, yeah blow my mind of how nations, um, yeah, change, grow and then decline, which is probably the more scarier thing, right? At this period of history and time, according to Ray Dalio, we're in a period of, um, yeah, I don't even know what, what words to say without... Um, discouraging people but let me uh, let me just share the list of contents of what is contained in the book I'll put an image up so you can follow along with me part one how the world works introduction the big cycle in a tiny nutshell so he just lays out these massive cycles of nations and rises and falls of empires <laughs> and yeah crazy the determinants and the determinants addendum um Three, the big cycle of money, credit, debt and economic activity. Four, the changing value of money, how value, how money can be valued or more importantly devalued, which is what's going on a lot in the world at the moment, the devaluation of our money. Um, five, the big cycle of internal order and disorder. Six, the big cycle of external order and disorder. Seven, investing in light in light of the big cycle. So how now we've learned all this information, how one should invest. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's many investors out there. I'm not an investor myself, but as you're probably aware, if you subscribe to Book Club, I love information and knowledge. And this book has really opened my eyes and will help me, I believe, to deal with any coming uh, catastrophes or any coming changes in the order. If I'm aware of it, 
then it will sting much less because I'll be able to foresee it, which is a lot of what Ray Dalio does in this book. He foresees the changes, which allows him to invest um, more better to get value from his investments. Part two, how the world has worked over the last 500 years. So this is a, a great bit of history of empires, the rise and falls. Again, I've not got to it, but I cannot wait for part two. Chapter eight, the last 500 years in a tiny nutshell. Nine, the big cycle rise and decline of the Dutch Empire and the Gilda. Ten, the big cycle rise and decline of the British Empire and the pound. Eleven, the big cycle rise and decline of the United States and the dollar. Twelve, the big cycle rise of China and the renminbi. I think that's how you pronounce it. Thirteen, US-China relations and wars. And part three, the future. Fourteen, the future. So, like I say, I wanted to jump on and share this with you because just reading the first ten pages of the introduction of this book has moved me so deeply and uh, help me to understand what's going on in the world currently around me economically, politically and socially that I had to jump on to share it. Like I said, this sort of information, it's not for everyone. It's very deep, heavy. There's a lot of graphs and charts and stats and data in this book. But if it's interesting for you and you find yourself at odds with someone to speak with and discuss these ideas, uh, like I say, head over to the book club community, become a patron for as little as $3 a month. So it's great value as much as one cup of coffee, or you may not even get a cup of coffee for that money where you live, depending where you live. Head over to book club, become a patron, reach out to me through the messages, which I check daily. Anyone who sends me a message on there, I respond to, and we can um, pick up a dialogue and a conversation. And if uh, a group or collective of people are interested in certain ideas, then we can do private uh, Q&As or chats, which I haven't done yet. But now we're at the 10 uh, patrons level. I'm, I'm due a, a Q&A, so head over there so you don't miss that moving forward. And yeah, here at Book Club, I read all manner of books, as you're probably aware from the content I've shared in the past. If you're unaware of that, Go and check that out and see what sort of stuff I talk about. But this book is is blowing my mind. Pretty scary, if I'm honest. But like I said, you need to understand what's going on in the world so that you can see more clearly these big moving pieces. And yeah, I think it, it can make you understand things more better so that it's less impactful if one of these big shifts occurs if Ray Dalio spoken about in his book and that's what he was talking about and that's what's happened in the world then you can say oh yeah that's what Ray Dalio was talking about would happen because da 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 because of all these factors this will occur and that's occurring so well that's what Ray Dalio said so of course it's happening so I understand because I prepared myself mentally emotionally and spiritually for this happening and there it is. So, oh, OK, let's carry on. Let's do what we need to do to survive and thrive in this life. So, yeah, guys, let me know. Become a patron over at the Patreon book club community. I'd love to see you there. It 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 fills me with um, hope and joy when I get new patrons and reach out and begin to learn more about them and the books and ideas that they love. So head over there. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet because we've got so much content coming this year. At the end, I'll link you to uh, what's coming up on the channel if you haven't seen that video, and I can't wait to share all this information and readings with you. But for now, look after yourselves, take care, and I'll see you soon.